Europe is the last place where the anti-counterfeiting trade agreement known as ACTA could be stopped. ACTA has drawn attention for what critics say is a threat to internet freedom. Now that the European public has become aware of the international trade pact, the reaction has been swift and mostly negative. Hundreds of anti-ACTA demonstrations are planned for Saturday all across the continent. And after growing pressure, even some of the elected officials who voted for ACTA are backing away from it. From France, FSR. Liam Moriarty reports. European Union officials are scrambling to overcome a tidal wave of resistance to ACTA, which just two weeks ago was on a path to easy ratification. The European Commission is trying to counter what it calls the myths about the trade pact. Commission spokesperson John Clancy says fears that ACTA would lead to totalitarian rule of the Internet are overblown. It's not about the individual. It's not about the Internet, really. I mean, and the way we use the Internet on a daily basis, it's nothing to do with how you use Facebook, Twitter, social media, and so forth. Clancy says ACTA is simply a way for advanced economies, such as Europe and the U.S., for whom intellectual property is a major economic asset, to get the rest of the world to protect that asset. He says everything from fake Louis Vuitton bags to pirated Microsoft software results in tens of billions in lost business each year. We have a right, uh, of course, to try and defend uh, that intellectual property, that raw material from theft, counterfeiting, uh, and that's what ACTA is about. But for many Europeans, ACTA threatens Internet freedom. Digital activist Jeremy Zimmerman is with La Quadrature du Net, a group that's helping organize this weekend's protest in Paris. He says ACTA is the next step for the corporate entertainment industry in its efforts to stifle file sharing of music and films. Instead of suing individuals, ACTA will allow the RAA and the MPAA to sue all the actors that enable people to share the files or enable people to access the websites where the files are available. Zimmerman says under ACTA, the industry could use the threat of legal action to force Internet providers to screen the content that passes through them for copyright violations. And while ACTA is supposedly focused only on what it calls commercial scale violations, Zimmerman says it leaves the door open for abuse. ACTA defines the same enforcement mechanisms for a counterfeit DVD factory in China and kids sharing the works of the artists they like. The public uproar after most EU countries signed ACTA in Tokyo two weeks ago had some national officials backpedaling. Leftist lawmakers in Poland showed their opposition by wearing the Guy Fox masks popularized by the hacker group Anonymous. The Slovenian diplomat who signed ACTA in Tokyo later apologized, saying she hadn't paid enough attention to what was in the pact. Poland, Slovakia and the Czech Republic have all suspended ratification. ACTA is also running into opposition in the European Parliament, where the lawmaker in charge of the measure quit, calling the process a masquerade. Before ACTA can take effect, it must pass all 27 EU national legislatures, as well as gain approval from the European Parliament. A final vote isn't expected until spring of 2013. Liam Moriarty, FSRN, Normandy, France.